Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually going to be a follow-up video to a video that I made a couple weeks ago about having been losing my hair for quite a while, um, probably about a month and a half, maybe even a little bit longer than that. Um, I started to notice that I was losing my hair at an alarming rate and I thought for sure it's definitely related to my thyroid um, and I did find a, rem a remedy for it. Now I'm, I'm only maybe five days in where I'm noticing that I do not have the same amount of hair loss whatsoever. And um, so I really wanted to hurry up and make this video because I know that there's some people out there that are going through what I did. And if this could be a remedy for, for you too, then, you know, that would make me so, so happy because it's something that would have never, ever even occurred to me. My doctor actually um, just without skipping a beat, knew exactly what it was and, and changed something. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you really fast and then I'm going to tell you how, what led up to us discovering that. So turns out that I was having an allergic reaction to the dye that was in my thyroid medication. And I take levothyroxine, I take a 0 0.075 milligrams, and it's a light purple pill. And that would have never ever occurred to me now that the shedding has stopped. Like I was going from shedding probably about 200 or more hairs a day to about probably like 50, 50 or I don't know, maybe 75, something like that right now. I do have a bag where I collected my hair for one full day and I'm going to show it to you in a minute because um, it was really, really alarming. It was so scary. And since then, obviously, I have cut my hair quite a bit um, because it was to the point where on the ends it was like, completely see-through, like sheer. It just looked terrible. So I did cut quite a bit off um, the bottom and I did trim my layers up just to give it a little bit more fullness. So, you know, I was trying to grow out my, I was trying to grow out all my layers and I feel like my hair was just starting to get a little bit long and then I went through a massive hair loss. Okay, so let me tell you the series of events that kind of led up to me finding out um, that I was allergic to the dye that was in my medication. What happened was about a month and a half ago, I started to realize that I was really shedding a lot of hair. Actually, I was watching one of my own videos as I was editing it and I could see that I had like a little bald patch in the very front where my hair parted. And I'll probably throw up a little picture right here so you can see what I'm talking about. But I also noticed in that video that my hair looked super, super thin. And I was actually already noticing that I was starting to lose a lot of hair, but it was that video that really made me go, whoa, you know, it's, it's really coming out and it's really starting to show, you know? So immediately I called to make an appointment with my endocrinologist and she is the best in this city. So she's really hard to get in to see. And it took, um, I had to set my appointment a month and a half in advance. As a matter of fact, it's on Tuesday. I haven't even seen her yet, but we did talk over the phone. Um, so anyways, I, I knew that it was related to my thyroid. I made that video and, and then I just started to panic because it was just coming out at such an alarming rate. I wanna show you this bag of hair that I have right here. Um, this is what I collected in one day. And I hope, I hope you're gonna be able to see this, but I don't know, I, can't, I can barely even see it in my viewfinder. This is so much hair and it's actually been bald and flattened out right now, but whenever it's sitting on your counter and you're looking at it after having fixed your hair for the day, uh, that was really, really alarming. And so obviously it was really hard for me to concentrate on anything else. And as, va as vain as that seems, you know, it's, your hair's kind of part of your identity, you know? And uh, I know that there's so many more things. I know that there's things in the world that are way worse than losing your hair. I'm very, very aware of that. And um, trust me, I just tried to constantly concentrate on the things that I was very thankful for, you know? Um, but it's very hard to not notice all the hair that's coming out of your head. Uh, now, the thing that alarmed me the most was that after I made that video, I started to experience um, just a massive surge of, I, I don't even know how to describe it. It was almost as, as though I drank like six cups of coffee. Like every time that I would take my uh, medication in the morning, it was as though I had just drank six cu cups of coffee and it was just a terrible, terrible sen sensation. And I just could not shake it. It was literally started at my chest, went into my face and then to the very, very top of my scalp. But it was just a really kind of tingling, burning, kind of a buzzing sensation. I don't know, that's the only way that I know how to describe it. And the feeling was just so, so uncomfortable. And like I said, it was just, I, I could not shake it whatsoever. And uh, it made me feel almost to the point of, almost making me feel nauseous, you know? 
And so um, I decided that without having seen the doctor yet, I just decided that I was just gonna stop taking my pill. And so I, I stopped taking it for two days and I just felt great. Like I felt normal. I didn't feel the, the sensation. I didn't have the burning, nothing. Okay, so I, I skipped two days. And then I started to kind of worry that, you know, I'm self-diagnosing and self-dosing, you know? And so I decided the next day that I was gonna go ahead and take my pill. Well, I did take it and sure enough, I got that just rush of disgusting feeling energy again. And I just didn't like it. So I decided to just go ahead and go straight to the her office. And I know that they let me just walk in anytime I want just to get blood drawn. And typically after I get blood drawn, she'll call me the very next day. My, my actual doctor will call me the very next day and tell me, you know, what my blood work revealed. So I went and I, I had blood drawn. Well, unfortunately, the next day was Saturday. And then um, I had to wait actually till Wednesday to speak with her because it was the 4th of July um, holiday and the office was closed. So she finally called me on Wednesday and I was like, oh, I saw it on the caller ID and I ran to the phone. I was like, hello. And she said, um, Jennifer, okay, so I have your blood results here and um, everything's fine. Everything's normal. You know, your you know, everything looks good. And I was just like, there's no way. I mean, that's just the first thing that came out of my mouth. I was like, there is no way that everything can be okay because I'm having all these symptoms and I, I know that it's related to my thyroid. And, and I told her that, you know, I was, I told her exactly what I told you guys, you know, that I was having this burning, tingling sensation from my chest at the top of my scalp. And then my hair was falling out like crazy and it was almost making me feel nauseous. And I told her that I had skipped the pill two days and I felt fine. And actually the day that I talked to her, I had not taken it the day before. And I said, I didn't take it yesterday and I felt fine. And I'm just too afraid to take my pill because, because of the way that it makes me feel. So without skipping a beat, she was like, it sounds like you have developed an allergic reaction to the dyes that are in your medication. And I'm like, no, wait, what? <laughs> because that didn't make sense to me at all. I was like, I've been on this same medication for over eight years. As far as I know, you know, to my knowledge, I'm not allergic to anything. So that, that just doesn't seem like it would be right. And she said, but you have an autoimmune disorder. And people with autoimmune disorders will develop allergies and will actually develop other autoimmune disorders, or likely, or more likely, to develop these things, you know, later on in life. And so I was just like, oh my gosh, okay. And so she said, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change your prescription and I'm gonna put you on the 50 or the 0 .050 0 milligrams of, um, of levothyroxine, but I want you to take you know a pill and a half every day. Um, but those don't have any dyes in them whatsoever. And so she's like, let's try that out. And then when I see you on Tuesday, cause I'm supposed to see her this Tuesday, then um, we'll see you know, what's happened since then. So that day, like I said, that I was talking to her, I had skipped my um, medication that morning just because I did not wanna go through that feeling. So I went and picked up my prescription. I didn't start it that day. I actually started it the next morning. Since then, I kid you not, I have not had that sensation whatsoever. My hair that was that used to, or for the whole like last month, was falling out like, I. You know, you always hear people say handfuls, you know, and I'm always like, what do you mean by handful? Because that seems like an, a whole, whole lot. Now I would wash my hair and I would have so much hair all over both my hands that I would literally have to like wipe it like this over and over and put it, take it in a little ball and put it on the side of my tub because I didn't want it going down the drain or anything like that. It's never been like that before. I mean, periodically I will go through some little periods of a little bit more hair shed than others. And I think sometimes it may be seasonal or something like that. But this was just really, really extreme. Um, not just that, once I would get out and I would comb my hair while it was wet, I would get another, you know, really big shed, you know, through the hair combing of wet hair. And then of course, whenever I would style my hair, there was just so much more hair. So I went from that to literally, I'm sitting here like running my fingers over and over through my hair, waiting for hair to come out like it was before, it literally like stopped completely. I mean, not completely, I'm still losing just your typical amount of hair. Like, you know, before, whenever I would um, do my hair and stuff, I would see maybe 10 or 15 strands on the counter or something like that. Um, and that that's what I'm back to now. But before it was like, my whole counter would just be covered in my hair. And that's just something that was so hard to see. So anyways, I'm only on day five right now of 
having been switched to the new pill. When I looked it up on the internet to see if other people had had um, similar reactions and stuff, I found very, very little information. How I mean, I found very little information about the dyes contributing to the hair loss. Now, there was a massive variety of reactions to the dye, but they were all so incredibly different. And so, you know, I guess everybody has a different allergic reaction um, to certain things than others. For me, it was that buzzing and uncomfortable. It felt like, like the worst anxiety ever, you know what I mean? Well, I, see, I didn't even know what anxiety was before I started having thyroid issues. And so I feel like sometimes um, anxiety has like a blanket kind of, it just kind of describes a feeling that we have that feels very, very uncomfortable that we just can't shake and we just don't know where it's coming from. You know what I mean? So that's what it felt. And that's gone now. Thank God, because that is like the worst feeling ever. So that is the status of my hair loss right now. I'm praying to God. And, I, and, and you know, it's kind of funny that the second you eliminate the allergen, then you stop responding to it. I mean, I guess, you know, it's like, I don't know. All I know is that I'm so happy that my hair loss has stopped. Now, I do have still some, especially right here in the front, I have some powder on it right now. This is what I have. This is the fill-in powder, and I love it. I love it. It's great for just a root touch-up, but it's also great if you have um, very, very thinning hair and you want to kind of camouflage your scalp too. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Um, please, please, please pass this information along to anybody and everyone who might be going through some hair loss because it could be such a simple remedy as to changing your pill that doesn't have any dyes in it, you know? Um, unbelievable. I'm really, really shocked. And, you know, like I said, I sure do hope that this information helps somebody else because I know how traumatizing it can be, you know, when you're, whether you're female or male, to start losing hair prematurely, you know. So anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to um, hit the thumbs up button if you found this video to be useful or, you know, you just are a nice person. So anyways, thank you for watching and I'll, I'll see you later.